everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am Claire at Cookie Crumb Fun and today is Monday and I'm going to do my next video for Trim Healthy Mama Mondays and today I'm going to share you some tips to stay on plan. All right. Sometimes when we're trying a new diet plan there's it gets really hard and stressful and we just want to cave and, and have that sweet treat have that savory thing that's not on our plan and we cheat and then we regret it and we need to plan ahead to be, have good success in this diet, in this lifestyle change. So what I'm gonna do, I wrote down some tips and ideas that I have, and I'm going to share them with you as best I can. All right, things that have helped me, things that have helped others, all right? So I've been on plan for Trim Healthy Mama for just under three years. My husband and I have both lost a lot of weight. He lost over 90 pounds, I lost over 40 pounds, and it is a successful um, plan. And I would love for you to try it. I have some links below for the books and for the cookbook. And this is what the original book looks like. The new one doesn't look much different than that. The girls are wearing white outfits in the new one. And this one is 600 pages. And it has the plan and recipes. So the new book just has the, um, the plan in it. So it's like half the size. All right. And then there's the cookbook, which looks like this. And this has all the recipes in it, and they've tweaked the recipes, and they've created so many new ones. So I highly suggest you to get the cookbook along with it. And there's link, links below for the cookbooks and the plan book. All right, so tips to keep on plan. All right, my first one is to plan your meals. So you need to meal plan. It is a huge help. Even if you're not eating the Trim Healthy Mama way, it's, it, meal planning is very helpful. You know, you take the time, you plan your meals, you make your grocery list, you know what you have, and you have everything to make the meals so that you can have a successful week of you know what's for dinner, you know what's for breakfast, you know what's for lunch, right? So you need to plan your meals. You need to plan your breakfasts. You need to plan what you're gonna eat for lunch. You need to plan your dinners, and you need to plan your snacks. If dinner goes late, you're gonna need a snack. You need to have something on hand, something quick that you can put together. If you eat a different meal than the rest of your family because they don't want to eat the Trim Healthy Mama way, then you need to plan what you're gonna make for yourself, all right? Um, just a little tip here. I give the Trim Healthy Mama dinners to everybody. I don't make something different for my children. You know, they get the crossovers where, you know, and they can have the off-plan ingredients, but the main dish is a Trim Healthy Mama dish, and that's what my husband and I and all our children eat. So plan your menu. Now, everybody plans differently. You know, you can do it digitally, you can do it on paper, I'm a paper and pencil girl. All right, you can do it in a little notebook. A lot of people just choose a notebook to do it. And some people plan weekly, and you get these cute little menu plans anywhere online, and you can just write down what you're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so you know. And you don't have to stick to it. If you don't feel like eating eggs, and switch it with another day. Or if you really like yesterday's breakfast, make that again. But just so that it's on, on your paper so you can see that and know what you're going to eat. Or if you're a monthly meal planner, they have monthly meal sheets. And you just fill in the month and the dates. And you write down, you know, you can do all breakfast, you can do all lunch, you can do all snacks, or all dinners. All right? Those are just a few ideas of ways that you can menu plan. And you need to plan each meal. Like I said, you don't have to stick to it. And you don't have to do this. But this is a huge help if you want to stick with plan. All right? Stick with plan and not fall off and cheat or say, I'm so hungry, I don't know what to eat. All right? Because I, I said before in another video, I cried on my second day because I was not prepared. I just had, thought I, I could survive on Trim Healthy Mom with the foods that I had in my house. And I didn't because I did not plan ahead when I first started. And it was an emotional week. And when you're detoxing through sugar and through all these other foods that you're not eating anymore, you don't need that on top of it. All right? So this is going to help you. All right? So you need planned drinks. All right? If you like cream in your coffee, you might need to tweak it a little bit if you're going to have an e-breakfast. If you like your coffee at night, you're going to have to make sure that you have an S because most coffees are an S. You know, you put the cream in it or you're just going to have to start putting a little bit in it or you're going to have to figure out what to do to, to make it where it's just right. You know, go online and look up different creamer recipes and um, so you just have to plan your drinks. Make some good girl moonshines. There's, it's so simple to make and it's delicious, right? I'm going to put some, um, some ways to make the good girl moonshine a little bit later. And then there's the shrinker, right? Now beware, the shrinker contains lots of caffeine, so you'll not want to use that 
and evenings unless caffeine doesn't bother you. And then there's the Wonderland sip, which is just amazing. It's a peppermint drink. And you can drink, that's one of those ones you can have hot or cold. And there's a pumpkin pie sip. There's all sorts of there's that earth milk. Plan your drinks. Make sure you have everything on hand that you need. And your sweeteners for those drinks, all right? Make sure you have some sweeteners you can buy ahead. I'll put some links below to the sweet leaf that I talked about in another video. And um, they're just fabulous. They're sweetened and they're flavored. And you just add them to your waters. It makes it wonderful. All right? So use Pinterest. You just put type in THM or Trim Healthy Mama and a bazillion recipes will pop up. And a lot of recipes are recipes that you don't even realize are Trim Healthy Mama recipes that you eat. Like you can have chili and be on plan. You can have chicken noodle soup and be on plan, you know, with the dream filled pasta. So there are meals that you eat that you probably don't even realize that are on plan. All right, so check Pinterest. There's so many um, blogs out there that the women have created recipes and shared them, and you'll find them all over Pinterest, right? So that's number one, plan ahead with your meals. So the next, my next tip is be prepared with snacks, all right? If you stay up late at night and you watch TV or whatever you do, you work at night or you're sitting and you're getting hungry and you want the, you know, you, that hand to mouth action, all right? Or you want something sweet and crunchy, you need to be prepared with snacks. And I wrote down a list of all my favorite snacks and what page numbers they are in the book, all right? Now, the muffin in a mug is something that you can make ahead of time and you can stick in the fridge or the freezer and you can have, or it takes five minutes to make also, so you can make those or those single serve cakes. So in the newest cookbook that they have, there's lots of recipes for muffin in a mugs or single serve cakes that you can make. <clears throat> Excuse me, and also in the old book, there's a few also, all right? So also the cry no more brownies. That is something you can cut up into, I think it's like nine pieces, and they're an S, and you can have one, you can have it for breakfast if you need to, okay? So make sure you plan ahead and make some cry no more brownies. Those are on page 314 of the, the cookbook. And then there's the no-bake cookies. Now that's a wonderful thing to have on, on hand when you want that little sweet snack if the kids are eating cookies or they're eating something else and you want that, you can put them in a bag, you can bring them with you. They're on page 316 and those are delicious. And then there's cupcakes. I have a great recipe and I'll be sharing the video later this week. So check it out about making cupcakes, chocolate cupcakes out of coconut flour. They are amazing and you can just, they makes nine and you can make them and have one for your dessert or whatever you need. Their S's, all right? And then there's sweet breads. You can make pumpkin bread. Now, I'm not sure about banana. There probably is a way to make a true healthy mom with banana, but I just, I've always skipped it. I'm sure there's a way though. But I have a previous recipe and I'll link, link above to um, the pumpkin bread that I made and I was so surprised how delicious it turned out. And then there's the fudge. Make this fudge. Even if you don't need to plan ahead and you've already been on plan for a while, make the rich chocolate fudge is what it's called in the old Trim Healthy Mama book, the original one. And then in the new cookbook, it's called Peanutty Fudge. All right, in the new cookbook, it's on page 388. In the old one, it's on 386. It's just peanut flour or peanut butter and cocoa and cream cheese and a stick of butter. It is so delicious. You could just sit there and eat the whole thing and my kids love it. All right, you use your, your sweet or whatever ones you use. And then make some skinny chocolate. There are many ways that you can make skinny chocolate. You can add some peanut flour to it. You can add caramel to it, different extracts to it, you know. That's what I mean, caramel extract. So to change the flavor of it, you can add some cream to it to make a milk chocolatey way. But I suggest you have some, put some sea salt on it, you know. So there's all sorts of different ways to make skinny chocolate. All right, and many people have tweaked it. And you just one of those things you just gotta make a few times to figure out how much of which ingredient you add more or less to it. All right, and then cheesecake. Cheesecake is on plan. You don't need a crust, but you can use almond flour crust. There's plenty of them in both books. So if you make a cheesecake and you have that, then you have a sweet treat. You know, the, the wonderful thing about Trim Healthy Mama is you can eat all these desserts for breakfast if you want to. You don't have to eat eggs or muffins for breakfast all the time. You can have cheesecake. You can have cupcakes or these um, cry no more brownies for breakfast. It's wonderful. All right, so be prepared with snacks. And there's also yogurts, puddings, and shakes. Now you can whip up a shake. I have the Ninja Whiz with, with a single serve um, cup, and I can just whip up a shake for a snack with some protein powder in it. If you don't have protein powder, use cottage cheese. I think like a third of a, not a third, a quarter of a cup of cottage cheese is pretty good for protein in it. And you can't tell it's in there. You know, oh, I'm not gonna eat cottage cheese, yucky, it's all, you know, white and bumpy. Ugh, people are like that. Go ahead and try it. It's so good. All right, so 
shakes are really great to have and um, there's so many different flavors just look on Pinterest like I said again and there's many in the book that you just need almond milk you need your sweetener and you can put a little peanut flour in it just make it simple or you can add fruit and some protein like in the cottage cheese or the protein powder all right so plan ahead with those snacks because if you plan ahead you won't fail all right and then the next tip I have is try something new if you don't think you're gonna like a certain recipe try it anyway you never know all right try something new try pick a new recipe for a muffin or for a lunch or a different salad each week and you might realize hey that's pretty tasty right I wasn't really sure I was gonna like Brussels sprouts but it turns out if you roast them in your oven they're delicious with some salt and pepper and olive oil right all right so try something new try new flavors of your good girl moonshine get some extracts there's caramel apple is my ultimate favorite when you throw in some caramel extract to the regular recipe and it's great you throw some strawberries in it and they bounce around and they work as ice cubes and then they, they flavor it so it's really delicious you can put some lime juice or some lemon juice in it or some lime or lemon wedges you can put some orange in it whatever flavors you like just play with it and find something that you're really gonna enjoy all right so my last tip is join no, this is not my last tip. I have one more after this. Join the Facebook groups. I went ahead and joined the Facebook groups. There's ones for beginners. There's ones for pregnant and nursing moms. If you're pregnant or nursing, there's ones for moms that work. They give you recipes and tips for, uh, you know, packing your lunch to work and staying on plan while you're at work. You know, there's um, just the, the regular, the, the main group, and you can post your questions there. That's how I figured a whole lot out. That's how women are learning about Trim Healthy Mama, is by asking questions in the group and post pictures of what you're eating. You know, say, I just tried this recipe, I just added this and I tweaked it this way, and it's going to help other women. You know, oh, I should try it that way. I never thought about doing that. You know, it's so very helpful or when, you, when you're on plan and you're in your feel like you're gonna fail or you cheated you know on, on the diet what you can do is go on there and get some support you know all these women have been where you are and there's a lot that are where you are and they could be there it's like a support group also right so my last thing that I want my last tip is start a food log I got this notebook for 50 cents after school and I write down the things that I eat in it what time I ate it so that you know you basically get a three to four hour window till your next meal right so that you know what you ate like if you're busy and you can't remember what the last thing you ate was you know if it was an essence your fuel bowl so this is great you write down what you ate so you can be accountable to yourself so you just start a little food log in a notebook you don't need to print things offline you don't need to spend a whole lot of money on a uh, fancy journal or notebook you just write down what you ate for breakfast write down how many cups of coffee you had so that you know you're not going into crossover mode if you had an e or something or a fuel pull you know and write down if you know how many carbs or fat you had in it so that you can know what the, the f and the e and the, uh, or the fuel pull the e and the s's are you know put a little note in the beginning saying how many carbs you can have with an s and an e in a fuel pull so that helps you when you write it down you know what it is right and there's all sorts of printables on those Facebook groups too that you can, you know, you could print out and you can put them all over your kitchen cabinet. You can just tape them on the inside of the cabinet so it doesn't affect the outside of your kitchen look. And um, there's so like ideas of what to eat, um, fruits and vegetables and their carb count so you know which ones go into which um, category. I hope these tips were very helpful to you. I hope that if you're on the Trim Healthy Mama plan that you stick with it and that you don't give up. Join those Facebook groups. Make a food log. It's going to be so helpful for you in the long run. And if you don't have the cookbook yet, I highly suggest you to buy this cookbook because it's full of so many recipes and pictures for all the recipes. There's snacks. There's savory desserts. You know, there's savory things. There's all sorts of all sorts of everything waffles for breakfast pancakes for breakfast muffins slow cooker meals oven meals you know all different sides you can have I've had this cookbook for over a year and I still haven't made every single recipe you know you find a favorite you kind of stick to it so if you have anything else that you would like to see in these trim healthy mama Monday videos go ahead and put it in the comments below and I will add it to my list of everything that I'm going to be talking about for trim healthy mama and I hope you enjoyed it so go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time for more Trim Healthy Mama Mondays. Bye.